Precious ones, I am grateful that you have consecrated this portion of this 24-hour vigil to my coming and my investment in this work of the Spirit. I am grateful that through your consecration, through your constancy, through your fortitude, that you are continuing to anchor the light of freedom, brother, sisterhood, justice, and love through your souls and hearts on behalf of the African people and all brothers and sisters of my heart worldwide. I come with a short message yet one which I feel will edify your souls. It is to involve yourselves with God's will manifest through your work. Invest yourselves in God's love manifest through cooperative endeavors. It is to courageously move forward, investing your minds in educational opportunities to raise awareness and to shine forth the brilliance of the sun of your own divine God presence throughout the world. When heart, head, and hand you invest, involve yourself in this work, in this service. I can assure you that angels of the sacred fire, great ascended beings and masters of light, east and west, will support you, will vouch for you, will be there for you to multiply the light and to expand your efforts. You are as the founding fathers and mothers of this new movement in its outreach to Africa and the world. You have employed your talents, your words, your heart's love in these services every Sunday now for 12 years. And as you have done this, the light has grown, opportunities have evolved and expanded. A number of you have made trips to Africa, to South Africa, to Egypt, and to Ghana, and elsewhere. And now the opportunity is at hand to utilize all of the light that has been invoked and anchored to be expanded through new endeavors to reach other hearts, to reach other minds and those who also work for God within other folds. How will this be done? This is up to you, blessed ones, to reach out consciously and to perceive new opportunities and how they may be fulfilled through your work and service. I will inspire upon a number of you how this can be done when you call to me and angels of coordination will work to bring about these opportunities when they are optimal and when they can be physically arranged. Now I choose to bless you each one with the radiance of my heart, with the joy of my soul, 
with the beingness of my presence. And so I enfold you in cosmic, violet, and blue light. I enrich you and the Alan of spiritual grace, which now may manifest through your soul in a greater cosmic stream to go forth to bless others, to heal others, to inspire others, educate, and raise them out of mediocrity, nihilism, and darkness. The work that you have done thus far has been tremendous. If you could see it as we have beheld it, you would be amazed, blessed ones, at how many souls you have saved, both spiritually and physically. Yes, there are still major problems in many nations in Africa, yet through your efforts, many of these issues have been mitigated or even completely consumed. Yes, there are opportunities in many nations for the light to continue to expand, to consume darkness of all kinds. And we applaud your efforts to name those situations where it is imperative that the light be anchored to assist the light bearers and the holy innocents, the children and those affected by all manner of diseases and dark spirits. I now place my hand over the center of Africa and stir through the power invested in me, the light, with a new initiative of cosmic freedom. And there is, through this action, an action of truth and justice manifest, whereby there will be the separation of the wheat from the chaff and the sheep from the goats. Yes, the exposure of that which is untrue, unreal, will continue to manifest and then, through prayerful and mindful choices, many may indeed rise out of their past and embrace the light of the living Christ, the Divine Mother, and of the true brother sisterhood of the Spirit, through all ascended masters and their avenues of expression, their beings of light. Ata Lamiata Zeva Latago Vrinatabe Ezuiata Vematana Gra 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 A great being of light has stepped forth from the great central sun to invest his frequencies of God power to rekindle hearts throughout Africa toward the light and to remove many foci of darkness black magic and witchcraft that have been burdensome to millions of souls. And simultaneously there is an action from the four and twenty elders of cosmic justice manifest for the holy innocents, especially the children and young women and girls who have been misused and abused made into sex slaves, etc. Those who have 
Ben Fosai of evil, black magic, and darkness are in this hour called to task and must amend their ways, else their lives will be cut short through an action of the swift justice by the four and twenty elders. I see the shift that is occurring now through this release of light from the great being. whose name I reveal as the great master Azuna from the central sun. O Azuna, thank you for your coming and for this action this day. Now the prayerful ones will move into action and continue their vigil for the saving of souls and for the victory of the light of oneness and unity throughout the earth. I am your Afra, the thunder has registered, the lightning has awakened many. Truth shall prevail, and justice also. God bless you.